It would be better for the safety of others. A Vancouver City Councilor pushing for more CCTV cameras downtown, arguing they'll help prevent crime. But that technology comes with privacy and ethical concerns about who's being targeted. And there are also questions about if cameras actually change behavior. Councillor Melissa DiGenova's motion asked city staff to talk with the Vancouver Police Department about where CCTV cameras could be installed. Places like, you know, the United Kingdom, we look at places like New York City, and this is something that they've been using as a tool to deter and also to deal with violent crime for years. So I, I'm not sure why this isn't a, a measure that we've taken in the city of Vancouver, but I think that it's something that we need to look at doing. The Surveillance Studies Centre at Queen's University writes, despite claims by police, private security and camera technology companies, deterrence has not been proven. Adding, current evidence thus suggests that cameras typically fail to deter activities that people fear most, like bombings and beatings, and are useful only in prosecution executions if footage can establish guilt. Here in the Davie Village, there's mixed reaction to the idea. Well, it's possible, yes, I would think so. I think most Vancouverites respect the law and want to keep our city safe, and I am 200% in favor of it. It doesn't matter how many cameras is around the streets. It's, it's a problem about people, uh, what they are doing. A lot of businesses their uh, windows, their doors are being broken into, so it would help definitely. And privacy, it's good to have, but at the end of the day, we know that we are being watched in any other way anyway, so it doesn't matter. But the Canadian Civil Liberties Association is calling it mass surveillance and explains not everyone feels safer when police are watching them. And those experiences are grounded in the very real lived experiences of systemic racism and discrimination that data tells us often directs the watchful eye of law enforcement. So people who are Black, who are Indigenous, who are otherwise racialized or marginalized um, don't experience surveillance in the way that we do. And communities have to be given a reasonable say in whether or not they wish to participate in an expansion of surveillance. The motion is on the agenda for next Thursday's council meeting, when members of the public will also be able to discuss it. In Vancouver, Crystal Adiris, City News.